LSU is just going to drop the gate. Like, I've seen two ways of thinking about this. Like, one is just giving up, and the other is, well, now, you know, Death Valley has a different kind of connotation. And yet, it's still Tiger Stadium because there's only Death Valley. There's only one Death Valley. Did I ever tell you the story? Because I feel like I made this yeah, upload. You did, but tell it to me again. Okay. Tell it to me again, Papa Arja. So, Death Valley is in Clemson. And that's not in dispute. Even LSU SIDs have said, no, Death Valley's in Clemson. We insist on continuing to use the nickname, but there is historical evidence and accounts of a Clemson man who went to Death Valley in California, came back with a rock, and that became Howard's Rock, and they put it in what they called Death Valley because in the, in the September, it would still be like 104 and humid, and people were having Gross. a really difficult... Yes, exactly. So you can see how LSU would be like, it sounds like you're describing us, and it, eh, no, except you guys actually took it from them, and you have admitted to taking it from them because you thought it was cool. And that way, it's not unlike University of Tulsa and Golden Hurricane. You know this story. I should know. Like, I went to you. Mm -hmm. This is one of those stories that I, I feel like I, that's probably passed my desk a couple of times, but I do not remember it at all. So I know this stuff because it's, it's just how my brain goes, but there's lots of people that go to TU don't know why it's the Golden Hurricane. Singular, not plural. So the 30s, they went through a number of phases in which they wanted to be named the Yellow Jackets or the Tigers and settled on the Golden Tornadoes, which is badass and should have stuck. But head coach finds out that Georgia Tech was the Golden Tornadoes. And, you know, what's like a tornado? A hurricane. Yo, man, you're in Tulsa. You're in a landlocked state. Ain't no hurricanes making it to Tulsa. Tornadoes, though, 100%. I mean, you got the Clinton Red tornadoes over there, too. Like, it just fits. But no, he backed up off of that and went to hurricanes because Georgia Tech had it first, and then Georgia Tech changed its name to Yellow Jackets. And what does Tulsa do? It does not change its name back to tornadoes. We stuck with hurricanes at the University of Tulsa because one dude just decided to do the opposite of what literally every other college football program goes no, it's mine. Like, we claim that national championship. We, we, it's ours. Like, we, we've said it's ours, so that makes it ours. He couldn't just do that. No, we got to be stuck with hurricanes because it's like, no, we want to be, be different. Well, I mean, I don't know what's more different than that. It's like the San Diego banana slugs or something. There's, that's another one. Yeah, man, this is part of the American experience where you become a sports fan before you learn anything else. Hmm. So I, I'm the type of dude that, grew up really liking John Stockton and, and Carl Malone. So like the Utah jazz, what's that have to do with anything? And it wasn't until, I don't know, 15 years later that I realized that, Oh, it, cause it wasn't always in Utah. Right. So. Also, I would really take, love to see the jazz club in, in Salt Lake city. I'm sure it's just great. Sure. It's as good as anyone that you can find in new Orleans from 1920 to now. No, no, no. Just, just, just a jazz club. Top, any, any jazz top, club. Any jazz club. I don't need it to be good. I, yeah, exactly. I'd, no, I'd love to walk into a, a jazz club in Salt Lake City and be like, what? This is big band. This ain't jazz. If that's your only gripe, if that's your only gripe, that'd be awesome. Out here doing swing? It's, it's not jazz. Let, let, let me mess around and it. see. Let me mess around and see a white lady on stage uh, doing Josephine Baker songs. In 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 French dress of the time. Okay, you sold me back again. Like I was I was off, but now I'm right back on. Yeah, yeah. And then if you just all right here for this. Uh, so Ron, uh, you can see my my hoodie. Uh, I don't feel good about this week. I don't feel good about this week. I don't feel good about this week for a number of reasons. Uh, not the least of which is. OU's got a Derek Stingley Jr. problem right now. Okay? Derek Stingley Jr. is the best cornerback in the country, and he missed the Mississippi State game, for which LSU says if we had Derek Stingley Jr., we would have won that game. It's not true. OU fans are under the impression that if they get Ronnie Perkins back this week, has been widely reported, that 
something magical happens to this defense. They're trying to treat Ronnie Perkins like a panacea. And panaceas don't exist. Okay? In, uh, contrary to popular academic journals, uh, Tylenol is not going to make you just automatically come out of your depression. Just not going to do it. Ronnie Perkins plays this weekend. It'd be cool for Ronnie Perkins. Uh, but here's my thing. I watched the Lakers and the Heat, and I've seen what it means to have rim protectors and trees. Texas goes six foot six in Malcolm Epps if they want to, six foot seven in Andrew Wiley if they want to, six foot three in Joshua Moore, whose mama came on Twitter to say, I feel like I need to tell y'all my son's name is not Josh. It is Joshua. You don't shorten the book of the Bible to the book of Josh. She wrote that down. It is the book of Joshua. His name is Joshua Moore, and he's their best wide receiver. Here for that, right? Here for that. And then you can go Tarek Black at six foot three, 217 pounds. Oklahoma has two problems. They're short and they're not physical. Like, defense is built to be slender and fast. And when you're short and getting bullied, you play like you did against Iowa State, right? Who also yeah, just went I was say that, mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with being slender and fast if it works. Ew, man. I, you got I, I, I put it to you that it's not working. You know what beats slender and fast? Big and methodical. Like, honestly, Matt Campbell, John Haycock said, Oklahoma's the fastest defense we're going to see all year. And I said, oh, no. Like, as soon as they pinpointed that, said, oh, cool. Y'all think just because y'all fast that y'all can win this physical football game called football? I don't think so. I think what we're going to do is we're going to run six foot four and six foot six right at your six foot safety, right at your five foot nine safety. And one of the reasons I love Buki, right? Because Buki was getting trashed, is not because Buki is short, although that's got a lot to do with it. It's because Buki is like me. I will pick up a personal foul before you punk me. You're just not going to punk me. You will get hit in the mouth before you punk me. I can't say that for anybody else on that secondary right now, man. Like, Pat Fields came out, poor Pat Fields, free safety, saying, yo, look, we just don't have an answer for how big they are. And I said, oh, man, you do have an answer. But the answer is heart. Like, gr grit, grind, hustle, right? You no, got to really sacrifice the body on this one? No, just pride. Like, you know how... No, look, you're. why are you 